Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. I showed you how to make this card on the new Design Space app that's uh, currently in beta testing, but will be coming out in January 2015. But I had a couple people ask me how to make this in Design Space, and it's pretty much the same procedure, um, but I'm going to walk you through it, and let's get started. First thing we need to do is go to Insert Images. I'm going to go to my image sets. Oops, my image sets. And I'm going to type in Cricut so I can get to the Cricut Craft Room Basics. Everybody has all of these images available to them for free. And I just want a rectangle, so I'm going to choose that one. I need the star, choose that one. And then I'm going to click the back button and I'm going to go to all images. I'm going to pick Happy Holidays. And I'm going to choose this one. And this is from Cake Basics. And insert images. And this is all we need to make this card. I'm going to set that aside for a moment, along with the star. The first thing we're going to do is make our card base. We're basically going to use a sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper cut in half on the length side. So that would be, let's unlock Keep Proportions right here, and let's make this 4.25 by 11 inches. So this is our card base. I'm going to set it right here, and we know that if it's 8.5 by 11 piece of paper and it's cut in half, the halfway mark is going to be 5.5. So the card base is going to be 4.25 by 5.5. So I'm going to leave it right here at the ruler and know that right here at the five and a half inch mark, this is my workable area. This card's going to fold in half. So let's make this card base white. Now we need another rectangle. So we're going to copy, paste, And now we're going to go over to the edit panel, unlock keep proportions, and our next layer is going to be 4.00 by 5.25. And this is our red layer, so let's click on it and let's change this to red. And that's going to fit right here on the front of our card. Okay. Next, we need the green layer. We're going to copy, paste. This layer is going to be 3.75, unlock key proportions, by 5.00, enter. This is our green layer, so let's turn that to green. That's going to fit right there. Okay, and now our next layer is our white layer, which we're going to use um, to cut the tree out. So again, let's copy, paste. And we want to leave this one sized exactly as it is. Let's change it to white. Okay, now we need one more rectangle. Let's copy paste. Now this one we're going to use to actually make the cuts in the tree. I want to bring this down till about 0.25 wide. So let's just do that manually. 0.25 and the height. Okay, and now I'm, I'm going to have to eyeball this first to see about how big I want it. So 
I'm going to make that just a little, let's go 0 0.75 unlap cute proportions by 0.25. Okay. Now before we worry about lining this up, I'm going to take this up here on my ruler and do you see where this little handle is? This is actually what you can use to rotate it. But I just want to line that up on one of these numbers. So that way I know where the center point of this card is. That's the center point and that is the center point. Okay, so now I want to line this up. Again, I'm using that gray handle, lining it up with the eight. I want to go down far enough that I have room for the star on the top of my tree. And I'm going to click the rectangle, the card base, and you can either go over here and hit slice in the layers panel or this, my preferred method is right click, slice. Okay, and now I can pull that rectangle off. And again, I'm gonna pull it down until the top of that handle is just barely under that line, just to help me with my spacing. And again, I'm keeping the handle in line with the eight. And I'm going to unlock cute proportions and this one was 0.76 wide, so let's make it 1.00. No, let's just make it 1.00, see what that looks like. Okay, and again, I'm going to line that gray with gray handle with the 8 to keep it centered. I'm going to select the rectangle, select the card base, right click, slice. Pull this down again, keep the handle just under the one above, unlock key proportions, and let's make this one 1.25. We're going up in quarter inch increments. Okay, and let's center it up, the gray handle with the eight, just under the one above it. Select that rectangle, select this one, right click, slice, pull it down. Unlock key proportions, change this to 1.5. Center it back up. The gray handle with the eight. Select the rectangle, the card face, right click, slice. Okay, and you can repeat this as many times as you want. I'm going to uh, go ahead and do just a couple more. Okay, so there is the basic part of the card front, which will set right on front of there. Next we have our star. We're going to scale that down to size, and it's going to set right up here. It went to the back, so let's hit Arrange, Bring to Front. So there's our star, and here's our Happy Holidays. If we look over here in the layers panel, it has two layers. Let's turn on the background layer. Let's make the background layer green. We'll make the front layer red. And we're going to scale that down. And again, let's arrange with the front. And that's going to fit about like that. We can get rid of this, and that's all there is to it. Uh, and all that's left is to hit go. We have our green Happy Holidays. We have our green base layer. This is the one I cut out in a pattern paper. We have our red layer. We have our gold star, our red Happy Holidays, our card base and our card front. And then, again, you could add a score line in here if you want. I prefer to do it with a bone folder and just fold it in half, but it's basically an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper cut in half. 
So I hope this helps, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. I hope you're having a happy holiday, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.